All right, guys, so today we are going to start class with story time. So everybody come gather around, <laughs> give me a little bit of space. Perfect. All right, now we're going to be reading today one of my favorite books. It's called The Deep Blue Sea. <laughs> My apologies. My apologies. My apologies. Listen, here's what I want to do. Instead, uh, I, let me let me just try that again. Now, I'm not the best reader in the world, okay? But I'm gonna try and do my best uh, to uh, do it the right way this time, okay? All right, here we go. It's called the Deep Blue. <laughs> The deep blue sea. It's perfect. <laughs> oh. all right, all right. I, I know what I did. I'm sorry. I was doing it this way. Okay, I will hold it like this and I will read it to you. Just like, okay, ready? Here we go. This is called Ice Eel. <laughs> That's right. Okay, how about if I maybe hold it like this? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. The Deep Blue Sea, a book of colors. Story by Audrey Wood. Pictures by Bruce. Bruce! Okay, here we go. The end. That uh, that seemed like a short book. Sorry, I should start at the front. You are absolutely right. Okay, here we go. Let me read it. Do I need to read the title page? Yes. The Deep Blue Sea. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Text copyright 2005. Stored in a retrieval system or transmitted in any form or by any means. From the publisher. ISBN number 200402075. Start at the beginning of the story. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, I think I get it now. All right. No. You read the page. That's the first page. Nah, that's the first page. That's the first one. All right, here we go. What? There's the sea. The deep book. You know what? This this book is actually pretty complicated. I'm gonna draw a picture. No. 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 Here we go. Uh, what? <laughs> Wait, what? There's the sea. The deep blue sea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's a blue sea. Yeah, it's a book of letters, right? You guys mean it's like the deep blue sea? Like the ocean. The ocean. I get it. It's the oh, it's like the, a big, a large body of water. Yeah. Like the ocean. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Wait, like 
right here, buddy. I got it. Here we go. Been on for five There's minutes. the sea. The deep blue sea. Really? Oh, I Sorry. There's a rock. A red rock Wait. in the middle Wait. of the deep blue See. sea. There's a tree. A green tree on a red rock in the middle of the deep blue sea. There's a <coughs> nut. <laughs> a brown nut on a green tree on a red rock in the middle of the deep blue sea. There's a parrot. On a brown uh, nut! Uh, <laughs> on a green tree. On a red rock. In the middle of the deep blue. Ah, let's get a creepy. Hey guys, guys. There's a butterfly. <laughs> An orange butterfly. On a purple parrot. On a brown nut! <laughs> On a red rock in the middle of the deep blue. There's a spot. Oh my god! Oh no! The butterfly! It has a black spot! It must be sick and Just part of the part butter. Of it's just part of its design. Well, then he's not look. sick. It's a miracle. On an orange butterfly, on a purple pear, on a brown nut, <laughs> on a green tree, on a red rock, in the middle of the deep. Oh, this is a happy book. Look. And over them all shines the big yellow. yellow. Isn't that nice? Yeah, yeah. 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 sunny. Until a little white cloud uh -huh. Uh -huh. turns dark and gray. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Then all the uh, little fishies sing fiddle dee dee. Uh, it's raining on the rock <laughs> in the middle of the <laughs> And that, my friends, is the end of the story. Now look, I really enjoy taking books like the Deep Blue Sea and turning them into instrument pieces. And here's what I need you to do very quietly. I'd like you to go to your sit spot and listen for my directions. Because when we perform this book, we will be doing it using unpitched percussion instruments. Now, as a review, who can tell me by raising your hand what is a percussion instrument? What is a percussion instrument? Yes. It's an instrument you hit. It's an instrument that you hit, that's right. And you can hit it with a stick or a mallet or your hands. Now, but the, per the, the particular type of percussion instruments we'll be using today is called unpitched percussion. Unpitched. And does anyone remember back at the beginning of the year what makes a percussion instrument unpitched? 
What makes it? It has no different notes. Pitched. Raise your hand. Yes. A drum is unpitched because it has no letters on it. If I hit the middle, yep. and then I hit closer to the side yep. of the drum, it's going to make the, basically the same sound. But if I hit a mallet on a xylophone, bing, it would make a high sound, bing. The biggest one would make a low sound. I love that answer. You are exactly right. Pitched percussion instruments have letters. They have notes. They have pitches. And some pitches are high and some pitches are low. Love. Unpitched percussion instruments do not have notes. They just make sounds. Like the drum, for example. When you hit a drum, it goes like this. Boom. Okay? It's not any particular note. It just goes Boom. Now, there are four different groups of unpitched percussion instruments, okay? And we're going to go through them quickly right now. First, we have the woods. And I'm going to be showing you today some of our wooden unpitched percussion instruments. Like, for example, the castanets. slap, you hold it like this, and you hit it like this. Uh, this is called a wood block. Okay. We've also got rhythm sticks. Okay. Here I've got um, wooden bongos. I've also got a rain stick. Be quiet. Now, those are some of the wood instruments. Now, in this cabinet, I have metal instruments. For example, the circle. No! Sorry, that's a triangle. Yep. Um, we've got a cowbell. It's on the beat. Uh, this is called a uh, kabasa. We've got, oh yeah, you probably know what these are. Jingle bells, right? And a tambourine. Now, a tambourine is actually a little bit of every single unpitched percussion group. It's made out of wood, but it also has metal jingles. It's got a drum head, and you shake it. So it sounds like this. But I'm just going to call it metal for today. Cool? Okay. Over here, I have the shaker scraper group. Oh, yeah. For example, maracas. I have the shaker. I've got egg shakers. And I've got a rocket ship. The weirdo. Not a weirdo. <laughs> Wait, you're, this is called a weirdo? It's called a guiro. Or Wiro. Okay. And of course, we also have the drums. Now, down low, I have frame drums. Up here, I have a bunch of hand drums. And all along the front, I have two Bono drums. Here's what I want you to do I want every single person to face their turn and talk partner. I'll have you move right here. Mine did not be I'm sorry. No, actually, you can face her. That's right. Okay, let's do this. Mine did not be on me. Let's do this. I will have. You guys, you two. Yeah. I'll have you two be partners. Can I have you come right on over here? Okay, then. I'm gonna have you two be partners. Now, each set of partners is going to um, be a different color in our book. 
starting with the deep blue C. And I want both of you to go find one instrument, it has to be the same, an unpicked percussion instrument, like you can each have one, okay? And you are going to be the deep blue C. When I read the book, every time we hear the words the deep blue C, they are going to play on their uh, instruments. We won't use those. Those are claves, and they just give you splinters, so we're going to stay away from those. I like these things. Well, I only have one of those, but if one of you held it and one of you slapped it, we could do that. Would you like to do that? No. Okay. I like to do that. We need to pick in 10, 9, 8, Camry. 7, oh, 6, 5, 4, 3. Okay, good job, guys. You guys come right over here. Do me a favor and put the instruments on the floor so that they're silent until we're ready. Well, it's picked or under it. These are all on Now, you two, and we'll just leave them right here. You two are going to be the red rock. So go ahead and grab an instrument. No. No, it's not everybody. It's not everybody what you think. There's two of these. Or two of those. Okay. All right. I will help you get them down. These are called conga drums. They go with their own family, so go ahead and take a seat, guys. We won't play them until we're ready to do it all together, so you guys can sit down. Our next group, our next group, hold on, guys. You guys are going to be the green treat. Okay? I do have two of them. Castanets, very good. Next, we have the brown nuts. The brown nuts. The bongos? One of you could play on each one of them. Those are called talking drums. Can you use the bongos? Can you use the talking drums? These are really cool. What you do is you can squeeze it when you play. Well, it's true that they have sounds, but it's not like that sound was like an A or a B sound. We're not going to touch them yet. Huh? Our next group, you two are going to be the purple parrot. So go ahead and find an instrument for purple parrot. Now, we haven't had anyone pick a shaker scraper yet. But we're not going to use those guys. Oh, there's only one of those. Let's pick something else. And we don't have anyone doing a shaker scraper. It's so wavy. Guys, we only have one of those. Do you want to hold it and you can scrape it? Okay, great. You guys head on over here. Okay, next, come on over, guys. You two are going to be the orange butterfly. You guys are going to be black. You two will be the black spot. Now, guys, we've got a lot of drums. Can I suggest a shaker scraper? And these maracas actually look like black spots. Would that be all right? Okay, great. Let's take a seat. Now, next. We have the bright yellow sun. So you two go pick some. Let's keep our hands off of the drums and instruments for now until we all start as a group. Okay. Yeah, if you guys want to do the bongos, that would be fun. Mr. Bell, I didn't have any. You could do these. These kind of look like a drum, like a sun. How about the egg shakers? Yeah, that is fine.
Then all the little fishies sing fiddle dee dee. It's raining on the rock in the middle of the sea. Everybody. was still learning to become a teacher in college. I learned this lesson from my music teacher. His name is Mr. Southern. Did you guys like it? Yeah! yeah. Well, thank you, Mr. Southern, and thank you guys very much.